I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop, and in our studio today is Lisa Bonjean of Primitive Gatherings, and she's got lots of flannel lines that are super popular, probably the most popular on the market. So tell me about both of your flannel lines. Okay, I have a wool and needle flannels, and I designed the line of flannels to mimic the look of wool. They look like wool, but they're really cotton flannel. And that is called Wool and Needle 1 and Wool and Needle 2. And then coming up, we have Wool and Needle 3, which delivers in July. Yep, and she's also got a primitive muslin flannel, which is a basic, which is available at all times. And it's a great solid. Great for backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Backings for quilts. Yep. And Moda's flannel is just super soft. There's like mm -hmm. nothing else like it out there. And it's just great to work with. And anybody who's gotten some of this just, you know, raves about how wonderful it is to work with. So how do you work with your flannel? How do you treat your flannels? All right, this may surprise you, but I treat my flannel stitching just like any other stitching that I do. And I, the trick is, is this right here, the start. So anytime I start with, like if I start with a fat quarter quilt or charms or whatever, I would saturate those, those flannels, those fabrics, completely wet, hang them to dry, and then start to work with them. I just sewed this quilt last week and you know when Lisa came I was talking to her about how she works with flannel and she said she works with them exactly the same and it just really confused me. But she's going to make this really clear for us. If you take a fabric that's not starched and you pull it, one side has a little bit of give, a little bit of give, hardly any, and one side has a lot of give. See that? But when you starch, there's no give on either side. And that's how she's able to work with it exactly like cotton. So if you don't do that, you might have a little bit of give and you might have to trim your quilt like I did and it might not be even like mine. So I'm super excited to be able to work with flannels in the future so that I won't have to worry about that give. So watch that video, definitely learn it, and don't be afraid of the flannels. No. Especially the quilting on flannel shows up, you know. The stitching just yes. pops. What's nice is do some simple patterns with the wool. Mm -hmm. I have a book called Flannel Gatherings that has 12 simple quilts and that some of them can be made in a day or a weekend. One of our suggestions is to start with a charm pack, a jolly bar, or something simple. Sew a quilt top together so you get yourself familiar with it and then you will be on to cutting and piecing just like any other quilt.